in the book of Romans, the book of Revelation, chapter 17, and 1. In the book of Revelation 17 from 1, we saw another conglomerate of the teraphims in the lineage of a woman whose name was the mother of Harlot. But I venture you saw an Harlot anywhere, know that they have a mother. And their mother has a designation. Her name is referred to as Mystery Babylon. You say Mystery in Babylon. Babylon is not a place that God exists. In fact, Zion is the city of God. Babylon is the city of the devil. But even in Babylon, there's a mystery. The Bible calls it a great mystery. That in Babylon, Babylon is governed by Harlot. You have not heard the story of the Harlot in Babylon. But I want to let you understand that even in Babylon, there is a problem. The problem they have is that there are Harlot in Babylon. But to make the matter worse, there is the mother of all the Harlot. And the Harlot in themselves do not just only propagate the advancement of the kingdom of darkness, but they create a lot of abomination to the intent that the kingdom of darkness has a footing for the manifestation of the devil. So in the book of Revelation chapter 17, it was captured. He said, and there came one of the seven angels. Are you there with me? There came one of the seven angels that spoke unto me, which had seven vials, and talked with me, said unto me, Come, Peter. And I will show unto you the judgment of the great hole that seated upon many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunken with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored breast beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and in scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearl having a gold cup in her hand full of the abomination and the filthiness of her fornication imagine how much more she was decorated when you read the book of revelation you will see the eternal decoration of jesus christ look like this so this woman entirely mimic the christ himself but in all the operations of her beauty the bible referred to us as a great mystery that anytime you see upon the face of the earth you see the level of perversion continue to increase in our society know that a mystery has been revealed and whether you like it or not you may say you don't serve an idol i don't serve any idol but you serve the idol that is beyond you which is a mystery in babylon that has dwelt upon the face of the earth everybody upon the face of the earth is under an influence that they cannot be able to comprehend that is why in this spiritual warfare there is a warfare upon your soul that you must be able to fight what is making you live the life you are living what is making you do the things you are doing is a mystery babylon the great you can refer to this one as mystery lafia the great or mystery abuja the great mystery Penway, the great mystery your village the great because this is part of the pathway of the woman she sit upon a scarlet and there is a beast that she ride upon and men may not know the bible said to her many kings has fallen it was to her that there was a woman named Jezebel that was expressed. Do you realize that? Jezebel was not on her own accord that she did what she did. Jezebel was a principality. She looked upon a prophet and she spoke from her own chamber. If God be in heaven, if my name is this, I will deal with this man. And he hear a whispers and he began to run away. Not because he wanted to run away, it was mystery. There was a mystery that was revealed. When she uttered a decree, he ran away. The story of John, how John was captured, my brother, it was a mystery because whatsoever that will make herodias rule in that palace it was a mystery and the bible said the entire mother was the one that was decorated and she was put upon a scarlet dragon and the bible said upon her forehead upon her forehead was a name written mystery imagine for the first time the bible was making something bold we are reading to, everything was small later small later when we reach here now it's like mene mene take care mystery babylon the great the mother of heart and the abomination of the earth every abomination on the earth have you ever had hey, it's an abomination it came from somewhere a guy i was with apostle paul the other day a guy came to us <laughs> you see he impregnated his sister <laughs> so the whisper that make his sister became a potent tool for impregnation is mystery babylon the great 